Northwood dropped a teaser video for patch 12.0 and the new 9 through 9 update for Secret Lab a few weeks ago, and there are some juicy details in it. Hints on some potential lore for Secret Lab, our first official shots for what the new 939 looks like, and I have a lot to say about this, and some other little Easter eggs and clues. The trailer starts off with a helicopter coming into view. Now, this is the same helicopter model that we saw from images Northwood dropped last year during the Parabellum update, and it looks like it's going to be the new NTF helicopter helicopter when they drop the surface update. The helicopter then lands on an outpost at the edge of a forest. There's some NTF walking around, big ol' hand thing, and some wavy tape. And then we get a shot on the inside of the outpost base. We see a foundation scientist working on something, and then a shot of a whiteboard with a lot of info on it. Firstly, we've got the excavation of Site-19. We see MTF Unit Zeta-9, the mole rats, have been tasked with excavating Site-19, which makes sense because they're skilled in underground anomalies. However, there's no trace of any man-made structures at Site-19. From all we know, two days ago, Site-19 just vanished. We also see SCPs-096 and 173 in addition to 939 on the whiteboard, referencing the two other SCPs that we've gotten so far in terms of reworks for Secret Lab. Additionally, it mentions some unknown samples at the incident site. More on that in a moment. We also get our first mention of a woman in the SCP Secret Lab universe, and this mentions the scariest SCP of them all, your mom, will most likely be in patch 13.0, which, as we all know, is the sex update. She is also labeled as unidentified, and some people say she's a chaos spy, but how has the Foundation been able to get such a clear headshot of her? And they even data expunged her eyes, which is a really weird thing to do if the idea is to potentially find and catch her. Something's not adding up here for me. There's also a clock and a radio, and Chat and I looked at these for a long time, but the only thing we could find was that if you take the time of the clock, 145, and subtract it from the number we see on the radio later on, 10 84, you get 939. I asked Northwood about this because this seemed like an insane coincidence, and they literally just sent me a Mogus. Next, we get a shot of the Site-19 sample, and it looks like some living organism possibly mutating, possibly explaining from a lore standpoint why 096, 173, and 939 have mutated in-game. After a close-up of the radio, which seems to have picked up on the audio from your mom and I in bed together, we get a shot of an NTF stumbling through the forest. Probably me leaving your mom's house. She's just devious like that. After this, we get our first glimpse of 939. If you turn the brightness up on this one shot, you could see 939 booging it through the forest. Probably also your mom chasing me. I told you, she's devious like that. And then my favorite part of the trailer. 939 leaps into the shot, and if we freeze the frame, we could see what looks like a distorted human face cut off at the top of the cheeks. It then leaps onto this dude, and it starts to stand up again with a silhouette similar to the iconic doggo. And I just want to point out that yes, these are the old slash regular versions of the NTF model. You may have seen renders of the new NTF and Chaos models floating around online, but I can confirm that those will not be for 12.0. My guess is that we'll probably get them when we get the new helicopter, Chaos car, and probably during the surface update. After a cool little flare gun shot, we get the best shot of the whole trailer, 939 bouncing out of the woods like I was talking about in my previous video, and then a money shot of the front of the new 939. And with the bite and the echoed screams of the dead NTF, we cut to black. Hubert did confirm that the new 939 is based on a female body. We talked about this a while ago while also talking about the leaked 939 GIF from a while ago. And some people say the model looks different, but Northwood gave me this up version of the leaked GIF, and you could actually see the human face at the end of the snout. The idea of this monster being a human body that was stretched and contorted to fit the shape of something else is creepy and super dope, and reminds me of the thing. I know a lot of people are going to miss the old doggo, myself included, but this model is just super cool in my opinion, even if people say it looks like the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Here's to the idea that Northwood adds a shirt to the in-game store if they ever add one that has old doggo's face on it for us boomers that remember him. What are your thoughts on all this though? I'd like to know. What do you think? If I missed anything in the trailer, let me know. I love you and subscribe.